What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. We've got another bloody compound release. This is Kytrax, or Kytrax, apologies if uh, whichever one it is. This is made by Dylan Fritsch, and this is, I've actually got early access to this, it should be releasing in about six or so hours from the point of this video released but this is a, a massive compound we have got a pit bite track which is really cool to see i do think we're lacking pit bite tracks in this game we have got one sand track two sand track over the back a enduro trail that kind of loops its way all around the entire compound and then over here as well this is i'm very excited to try this out this is on the it's just called pp track um but you see it kind of slaloms back and forth on itself crosses over all over the place very, very excited to try this out. So we're going to spin a few laps on each and every one, as we always do. And hopefully it, it lives up to its looks. I mean, it looks amazing. I'm very excited to get into it. Please subscribe to channel for one million shillings, please. Many thank you. Goodbye. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. It's, it's definitely KI, not Kai. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six, six tracks in total. That's actually really, really impressive. Um, I think I'm going to start over on the two sand tracks on the left that you see there. Do the middle track, do the uh, PP track, and then I'll do the pit bike track. I'm not going to bother with the trout today. I don't think there's a whole lot of point to it. I mean, I'm, this, this Honda skin that I'm on right now, it's on the Honda 450. It's a, it's a Hoonigan skin built on there. Absolutely love it. Just throwing that out there. It's so, so pretty. I really, really do enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to be using this one for uh, for a while until I get some sort of team skins for creations ahead of the 2023 season. Oh, cool little bridge to get across there. Lovely stuff. So this is Sandtrack Numero Uno. Very interested to see how this plays out. As I was having a quick flyover earlier, it looks very, very peaky. The jumps. Oh, Jesus. Survive. 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 Yes, and I've got on my uh, my Supercross suspension right now, so can't imagine the two and two are going to go very well together. Oh my lord! I swear that almost crashed my game. I've just got an awful uh, awful freeze. I'm not sure if that will translate through into the video or not. Uh, let's let's keep on going. Let's try some of these ruts out. I do like more of the extreme style uh, sand tracks where you've got massive berms, like super bumpy, steep jump face is god. Uh, what I will say, it's a little bit on the difficult side to see some of these rollers from the uh, the texture that's been used, but I, I can make it out. I just have to just have to squint a little bit, strain my eyes a tiny bit. Oh, love that. A little jump around the corner. Nothing screams soundtrack like jumping around rollers. I feel like it's basically Supercross, just on a uh, on a larger scale, essentially. You kind of rhythm your way around the whole track. Let me check up here. I've got no idea what's at the top of this. Uh, oh, oh, God, that is, that is wild. I'm going to try step. I'm going to do one. I'll do, I think I'll do two laps this track because I want to try stepping down on that inside. That looked wild. Uh, oh, that's a lap already. It's actually a very, very small track. Let's go. Oh, survive. Oh, turn down. Let's go. Uh, <coughs> kind of, uh, kind of stuck in a bit of a hole here. That's that's my fault for going so slow. Right here we go. Let's see if we can get a bit of a bit of speed going. Right, don't send this one as far as I did last time. Lovely stuff. Stretches out. Oh no, can't quite triple that. This uh, this middle right here is absolutely huge. You should have no issue with uh, with trying to get the bike cranked over around the outside here. Do -do 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 -do. Step up and over. Actually, downside of that quite nicely. I imagine that once you get a bit of a flow going and you carry more and more speed around the corners, you just can like jump a, a single further here and there, and that's all part of fun. The sand is just, just trying to find the the smoothest way and the flowiest way around the track. That's what I really enjoy about tracks like uh, Lirop, for example. You're always kind of flirting with the very edges, searching for the smooth line. And I'm going to risk it. Let's try stepping down here to the inside. Oh, off the track a little bit. You can see what I'm going for. I think, I mean, I, I think that's what he meant the line to be. <laughs> I hope so. Um, but that's really, really nice. I've, I've got the road on 2.5. Um, because of the textures, I can't really make out my tyre tracks, if I'm completely honest. Uh, there's what like, oh here I can there's a tiny bit here it does seem to be digging pretty deep which is what you want from your sand you don't, you don't want it to act like hard pack do you, you want to get nice and deep in that 2.5 road kind of seems to be my go-to at the moment uh, I feel like two's not enough I feel like three four-ish is a little bit a little bit too much the ruts do get a little bit sketchy yeah two and a half is that nice nice middle ground for me where I've not got to run hundreds of laps to see any sorts of results 
and without it going too too wild where you just get like instant front end tucks or anything like that what's this outside like here is that just a little little step over and then a jump to the outside it's 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 nice there are insides and outsides all over the place and it's kind of exactly what you want from a sand track you don't want i feel like on sand you, you move over the track more on sand tracks than you would at any other track so the fact that he's got it's, it's almost like split lanes in a way but but not really it's super hard to explain but i do like it i i am a big big fan let's go on to sand track number two i'm gonna try my luck and guess that it goes this way that felt right that felt like a takeoff <laughs> uh let's keep going oh god what is this i step over that oh my lord that is a wild jump you need some speed to get up and over that if that is the correct way now let's keep it going let me see 100% if i and that definitely looks like a jump face too yeah, no, this is yeah, this is the right way, 100%. I feel like that's just going to become an ongoing joke now at this point. I, I swear the last week or so I've questioned if I'm going the right way in, in some regards. Um, I, I'm not sure if when the track is fully released, he will have versions or timing gates of each and every track. I've just got the main track right now. I'll have to double check that with him. Um, so we, I can't really kind of give you base lap times or have anything to base yourself off of right now and also a reason why I find myself struggling on knowing where to go because we've got these blind jumps and I do not have a track map to work with I've just got the one for the main track up in the top right and <coughs> this one is definitely smaller than the other one definitely a smaller sand track so what, what would you do here you kind of hug the inside jump 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 stretch that out get on the brakes oh that is a very fine line I'll have to try try the outside in the corner before at one time as well and, and see how that goes but I mean it's very this one's very very nice and flowy I'm not sure which of uh, the two soundtracks I'm, I'm preferring right now to be honest oh god I completely forgot that that was a wall jump front end front end thank you oh god mess around with my settings a little bit more again and uh now, especially since I got a new controller for Christmas, I'm finding myself tucking the front end a bit more than usual. I think I'm just trying to steer a little bit too tight, uh, which is completely a, uh, completely a skill error. It's all on my behalf. It's just something that I need to uh, switch up. I need to fix a little bit. Uh, please survive. That is the only issue I've got with sand tracks nowadays is the bloody traction on it. I felt like I was being so gentle on the throttle coming out of that corner, uh, but the most I said no. Can't do anything when the uh, when the big man tells you off. And a boing. Yeah, the inside, if you want to step up and over that wall, so, so much better. And that's, that's such a weird bit of track as well, because the amount of time that you'll lose going on the left-hand side and hitting it normally is unreal. Like, you really, really do need to be stepping up and over this. But it's such a stretch as well. It's such a fine line. I feel like even if you get over it, or you crash, but still get over it, I still feel like it's faster just to respawn and go again than it is to hit the wall normally. Let's see if I can do it a little bit of justice. I keep wadding myself left, right and centre. Try and stay up on the bike. And this is a wall jump. Let me remember that. Uh, let's just do a little fakie. That was intentional. Yeah, yeah. Meant to do that. 100%. Let's <laughs> carry on going. I think I prefer the other one so far. I think it's just very, very difficult to see these ruts. And I know it's, it's down to the textures again. If I turn shaders off, does that help at all? Uh, I don't know. It seems to be, seems to be much of a muchness. Oh, my bike getting like bogged down in the sand. That's all right. Nice and easy coming out of here. Double to the outside. Try and carry a bunch of speed. Ah, boing. <coughs> we'll count that. We survived. That's fine. Jump across the river. Bridge to Terror. Yeah, English. I was going to say Bridge to Terror, terror Biffia and try and be uh, try and be smart or clever, but it didn't really work. Let's give this bad boy main track a go then. We've actually got a map this time, so hopefully I won't uh, be completely wadding myself, although that's not the most most amazing of starts. This looks like a little roller. You could double that to the inside. Very, very lovely. A nice big rut. Jesus Christ, that one was huge. Uh, into a fairly smallish step up. Uh, I think the rut being a little bit smaller would make a little bit more sense there. But playing some of Dylan's tracks in the past, that does seem to be his style, is to have really really big ruts uh, in the turns and oh i will say it's uh, it's an acquired taste some of them I absolutely love it i suppose it, it depends what mood i'm in for the most part sometimes i fancy going absolutely whipped everywhere and other times i fancy tiptoeing around more more difficult tracks i am actually going to turn my shaders off because that skybox is very very bright and i'm sure it doesn't uh, do you, your guys eyes any favors as well especially those of you that stay up at night on your phone in bed watching these videos imagine your eyes are probably getting Getting blown off. Oh, here we go. This looks like a 
big boy jump. Let's just stretch it out, see where we end up. Oh, actually, uh, it was it was big-ish. I mean, I feel like I didn't hit the corner that well beforehand, and I still got over it very, very easily. Uh, could probably find yourself getting rather sideways or backwards over it. Oh my god, why did I scrub off that? That was a very stupid idea. I had no idea how to survive that. Very, very fast section through here. Jesus Christ. Oh, keep going, keep going. On the back wheel. Bike life, bike life. So I, we dropped it down. And that natural, that's actually a much shorter track than I had uh, I had envisioned. But, you know what? Oh, it flows actually really, really well. There's some bumps that are a little bit hidden. But again, I think it's just due to the, the dark decals and my, my old man eyes not being able to keep up or see what's on the screen properly. Toss us sideways. There we go. God, I, just, I love this skin so much. It's so pretty. Up and over that. Dab the back brake. So dip the front end down. Barely made it over. Get on the binders through here. I like how, again, the ruts kind of chop and change into each other. You can go inside and it leads to the outside and, and vice versa. Really, really enjoy that. Go double, double. Let's try the outside around here. See what this is all about. Oh, God, it's very quick. Very quick. Let me check up. There is no need for me to have that much speed. Oh, checked up a little bit too much. Into this other massive jump. Right, let's see... We try and get a bit steezy over this big boy this time. Oh, that wasn't steezy at all. <laughs> but I feel like that was just uh, what, do you, what do you even call that sort of whip where you just, you just turn left and right? There's no verticality to it. It's like the back wheel doesn't go over top of your head. Throw it sideways again for no reason. This is the super super fast bit. Oh no, man down, man down. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to repair the bike off that one. Imagine crashing at like 70, uh, 70 miles an hour. That'd be absolutely wild. So it seems the lap times are only about one, well, one, or well, sub 130, I should say. So not, yeah, not very long lap times at all. I was really, really flowing for the last half a lap or so, but I was dead quiet. So that's probably, <laughs> probably been cut out. Let me see if I can get like a good lap going around here. Like, the traction's really good, I've noticed. Uh, I feel like recently I've been quite tentative in turns just because I'm scared of sliding out a lot. Especially coming straight off of like the sand tracks that we was playing earlier. Uh, but this the traction on this feels really, really nice. Like you can really roll on the power nicely. Let's not wad myself down this hill again. I'm hoping that lap time will or well, this lap time will still count because I have technically gone off the track there. Ah, oh, that is a bloody shame. I tell you what, I'm feeling it. This this main track does have some very, very nice flow to it. I find it ends up being a lot more beneficial in these corners where the ruts are so deep. Uh, I find that if you sit down, the bike kind of gets quite unstable and can twitch in the corners. If you stand up and just wait the outside peg, the bike seems to be a lot more planted. And of course, where it is so deep, you really haven't got the issue of having to sit down and care about traction at all. It kind of all takes care of it for you. So a little, little top tip there, if you're going to be playing this track, try, try standing up in the corners a bit more than you normally would. It's very, very helpful. The road seems to be doing its job quite nicely as well. I've only done or passed this bit of track like three times. I can really, uh, really see where I've been before, which is a little bit better than it was on the sand track. At least it's uh, it's visible here this time. But I do want to get a nice lap in without crashing. I think my f bloody first lap was the uh, the best one, which is not what you want. Kind of kind of want to be improving as you go in, but you can see um maybe maybe I'm just trying to go too fast. I do I do have that issue now and then of trying to uh, go a little bit too fast and end up doing more more harm than good. Oh my Christ. <laughs> I am so sketchy. Right, let me go around the outside here, because last time the inside was a little bit wild for me. Oh my god, you can see how fast this track is. It is ridiculous. Stay in the rut. Lovely. Go double, double. Still get this inside. and stood up the entire way around there. It was very, very nice. Much nicer stood up than it is sitting down. Again, stand up all the way around there. Back up quite a lot for this step up here. And then check up again for this one. And take the inside line here. And then this is one is a bit of a stretch. Oh my god, that stepped around on me. I, <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. It's alright, we managed to save it. We'll keep keep the lap alive, keep it going. And then this cuts up back over to the right. Let's try and hook this inside line. Lovely. These two oh, little double double section. Oh, I'm getting a little bit out of shape. That was not a bad lap at all. Like, yeah, it's such a short lap time for a Nationals track, but it's very, very fast and very, very fun. Like This this one is very, very well done. 
we have got two tracks to go that I'm going to be covering in this video release. We've got this, which is called the PP track, and then we've got the pit bike track as well. I'll save the pit bike track for the end since I do actually have to leave the game and load the pit bikes up to get the, the full experience. But let's, let's try this out. It's, it's the one that's intrigued me the most, looking from the sky, looking from the free roam camera. And it just seems to be a bunch of jumps that kind of slalom back and forth on each other. But it all kind of seems to work out to be the same speed, at least I think that's what he's intended. So this would be really, really fun to do like 1v1s and stuff. It's almost like a different kind of stray rhythm, if that makes sense. So I imagine some 1v1 races would be very, very enjoyable. i got no idea how fast I'm meant to be going over any of these jumps. That was bloody perfect, just as I say that, Jesus. Oh, and then that wasn't. Go and land it. Get a lucky bounce. Lucky bounce. Thank you. Survive. Boing, boing, boing. There we go. And then whoa, up and over that one. Lovely. Round again. And I went, so I went left last time. I'm going to try and go to the right this time around. That jump sends you to the bloody moon. Holy crap. Right, up and over. Let's turn to the right. Oh, then back to the left. Double. double. Oh, nice floaty little uh, little hip jump there. I like that very, very much. What we got here? Love oh! Oh god, my arsehole is puckering right now. This is very, very nice, very flowy. Oh god damn it, that's, that's a, such a shame that I didn't land that. This might be my favourite one so far, and it's the, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely unique. I don't think I've really played anything like this in this game before. Obviously, I've done normal straight rhythms here and there, but I mean, I don't even think it's meant to be a straight rhythm. It's just very, very odd. It gives me like mountain bike vibes. I've seen a few Sam Pilgrim videos where they kind of go go back and forth crossing over each other in different lines and it does gives me that sort of feeling all right let me try and get a clean run through this uh this whole thing as well i'm going to go to the right again it seems to be the most fun one with that big old big old hip jump going on let's go a little double here little little hip or up toss it sideways for the fans almost up the front end bounce into the wrong jump and end yourself and then leave and go and go on to pit bikes to save yourself the embarrassment Okay, so it turns out I don't actually have the pit bikes in my game anymore, so I'm going to do something a little bit naughty, and we're going to ride an 85 from the uh, from the not very Kinder Bueno 85 pack that people shouldn't have. So, let's try this out a little bit. Let's see how this one goes. Let's go. Oh, okay, that is a bit of a booter already. Uh, didn't expect that to send me that high. Are they all like that? Oh, they Oh, Is that, is that meant to be a triple or is that meant to be a double roller? I feel like that's a double and then a roller. Around to the right, little, little double into the corner here, up and over that, nice, little triple, round to the left, a very, very tiny whoop section, that's that's kind of adorable, I'm pretty sure my face was ruffling that when I was a teenager, oh, shoo, Jesus, I am not sure what needs to be going on in that river, uh, I, I checked up a little bit, maybe I should just try and fully send it to the moon, we'll, we'll definitely try that out, I mean, we can spin a few laps here, it's only a short track, there we go, there's already one lap done, well, it causes a little bit of weird physics where that jump's so steep. I mean, you know how MX bikes is when you get really vertical. The game really, really doesn't enjoy it. A bit weird on this track that now I can't see any of the road or rough that I'm doing. But there's like pre, there's pre put in lines if you can see them, like the little darker brown lines. They're not me. I've not ridden it yet. This is uh, purely what was on the uh, on the track already. Ah, oh, there we go. That that one made more sense. That was a lot. A lot easier. So going on the right hand side, just jumping the section in two. I couldn't even work out what it was that I was doing. This get, get over the front of the bike. Might make life a bit easier. Shall I try tripping? I'm going to try tripping this. Screw it. Ah! Oh, boing! Jesus Christ! The suspension, the factory suspension on the bloody husky, husky 85, wouldn't uh, wouldn't shock me to be honest for the amount of money that parents spend on their kids nowadays. Get them a fully tricked out bike just to uh, just to do nothing. Just to do absolutely nothing. Step over. Oh god, that section's. I want to turn around and hit this section again. I need to. What side was the side I'm hitting? So I've been hitting the right side. Let me hit it on the left. Let's try the left out. Her up, up and over that. Oh, that also wasn't terrible. They just really try kicking you over the bars. I think the lips of all the jumps on the uh, on the pit bike track are a little bit. A little bit wild, but I suppose that's part of the fun, isn't it? You never who wants to be on a control on control on a smaller bike. You wanna be weird, wild and whiskey. The three W's or four W's, you wanna be weird, wild, whiskey and a wiener. 
round to the right. We're gonna send her, bud. Send her. Oh, that was actually a lot better than I thought. Oh, there we go. There's, there's at least one, um, one semi-clean run around this track. Shame again that I've not got climbing gates, but it is what it is. It's not too bad. And yeah, overall, I think this is it's quite a satisfying compound. Uh, I love the main track and that PP track. They are really, really good fun. Like, so fast, that main track as well, which I know a bunch of you guys will probably really, really love and enjoy. Um, I, 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 honestly, I feel like it's probably one of them tracks that you'll see in a bunch of public servers too, because it, it doesn't take very long to learn. It's fairly, fairly straightforward. And it's kind of weird, actually. You never really see any any compounds on public servers. It's always just like the one-off tracks by themselves. But I mean, if you've got a massive compound, even if it's in a long, like an hour long practice or so, you can just go mess around anywhere you want. You're not confined to that one track, so that it does surprise me. I think it's really, really nice. Um, the only thing that I would suggest is Probably textures is the biggest thing for me. The sand textures make it very, very difficult to see the ruts, um, where they're actually too detailed, which is a strange thing to complain about for a change. I don't mind the pit bike track, looks fine. The main track is a little bit on the dark side, but again, it's it's much better than the other one is. And the PP track is just so much fun. Like, really, really enjoy that. Very good stuff. Uh, definitely a unique one, definitely a creative one, and he's done a very, very good job here. It's nice to see Dylan's like track making progress throughout his, let's call it a, a track making career. I feel like I've covered all if not almost all of his his tracks so far and uh, definitely give it a go like i said at the start of the video this should be out in like, probably like six to ten ish or so hours from the point this video being released i was fortunate enough that dylan slid in my dms and sent me this uh, early release uh, but thank you very much sir and thank you all of you for watching if you did enjoy the video if i could ask that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'd really really appreciate it have a lovely rest of the day whatever it is you're up to and until i catch you in the next video peace